With the tower down, unwind the tarp until the tarp is fully extended. This will relieve as much spring tension as possible. Remove the bolt connecting the upper side arm to the 90 degree elbow. Carefully separate the arm from the elbow. Note the side arm will likely still be under a slight amount of spring tension. Lower the side arm to the ground. Measure how far the upper arm extends beyond the lower arm. Loosen the two set screws holding the upper arm in the lower arm. Slide the upper arm out of the lower arm. Slide the new upper side arm into the lower arm, leaving the same amount extending out as the previous arm. Tighten the two set screws until they are snug, plus three quarters of a turn. Slide the 90 degree elbow into the new upper side arm and bolt in place. Using the remote or the black box, raise the tower to the highest position and roll up the tarp into the tarp housing. As the tarp gets close to the housing, you will have to adjust the tower to its standard travel or park position in order to fully wind the tarp in. If the tarp does not roll up square, you may need to adjust arm extension length to get it to roll properly. The installation is now complete. With the tower down, unwind the tarp until the tarp is fully extended. This will relieve as much spring tension as possible. Remove the bolts connecting the 90 degree elbows to the rear bow. Carefully disconnect the side arms from the rear bow and lower them to the ground. Note the side arms will be under a slight amount of spring tension. Loosen the set screws holding the four tarp centering flanges on the rear bow and remove them. Slide the rear bow out of the pocket in the tarp. Slide the new rear bow into the pocket in the tarp and center it. Slide the tarp centering flanges back onto the rear bow. Reconnect the 90 degree elbows back into the ends of the rear bow and bolt in place. Then reconnect the side arms and bolt in place. Position the inside tarp centering flanges against each side of the tarp and tighten the set screws. Position the other flanges to align with the edges of the container or the end caps of the tarp spool if the tarp is wider than the containers. Using the remote or the black box, raise the tower to the highest position and roll up the tarp into the tarp housing. As the tarp gets close to the housing, you will have to adjust the tower to its standard travel or park position in order to fully wind the tarp in. The installation is now complete.